Following the signing of the Nigerian Correctional Service Bill into law by President Muhammad Buhari, there are indications that the issue of overcrowding in prisons would now be addressed by the portion of that law which allows state controllers of prisons to reject prisoners on the basis of their prison capacity. There are also plans to build more maximum prisons for the same purpose of the congestion. We are going to have such type, by the grace of God, in the six geopolitical zones, is to take care of congestion in prisons and to take care of dilapidated structures, old dilapidated structures. Nigerian prisons have a total male inmate population of 72,506 and 1,489 for female, bringing the total to 73,995, which exceeds the holding capacity of the prisons, which is about 48,000, clearly indicating the overcrowded nature of the prisons. Of the 73,995 inmates currently in prison, 23,568 are convicted prisoners, while 50,427 are awaiting trial. Many prison surveys have shown that some prisoners awaiting trial may not know when they will be tried, and many are held for crimes which, if they had been promptly tried and perhaps convicted, would have served their terms. The UNODC in 2015, after an assessment of 36 Nigerian prisons, made one key recommendation, which was the need to take urgent measures that would help reduce the number of awaiting trial inmates as a way of reducing congestion in Nigerian prisons. This recommendation has been re-echoed repeatedly by the National Human Rights Commission and other human rights groups. In developed societies, if you are arrested today, next morning in fact this very day you are arrested you'll be taken to court unlike us here we can wait for three months or more. or more six months or more before we take somebody to court that is why you have awaiting trial people the new nigeria correctional service law places emphasis on rehabilitation and reintegration even though the service says it has been carrying out correctional measures for inmates before now we established a kind of secondary school in the, in the, in the prison, in Enugu prison, we established like a secondary school and an adult education, which is called night school outside. Yes, the purpose is to capture everybody to make sure they're educated. The Human Rights Commission believes that rehabilitation cannot be complete without integration, which itself cannot be achieved unless the problem of stigmatization is dealt with. If we are saying we are reforming people in the prison, why do we say an ex-convict should be disqualified from participating in public life, for instance. There is need to create awareness around this and approach the parliament to amend the law to remove all those shackles of stigmatization that uh, have been um, uh, uh, frustrating uh, prisoners uh, and ex-convicts. Hopefully, with the new Nigeria Correctional Service Act, ex-convicts will rejoin the society as reformed persons, thus reducing the crime rate in the country. Thank you. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.